Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. We are ripping some turns here in Alpine Meadows out in Lake Tahoe. And you recognize this, it's already associated with the man. And anything Bodie Miller is selling, I'm buying. I mean, that guy is an artist on skis. And, but these things were hyped. They were hyped. You know, Bodie's in behind it. They're handmade, small batch skis, like a fine bourbon. And, uh, but this is the first time I tried them, and they did not disappoint, man. These were amazing. I, uh, you can kind of feel the, the race DNA in it, right? You just like, when I, when I test a ski like this, I'm, I'm trying to see how far I can push it and how comfortable I am going lower and laying it over harder and harder on what conditions. And I never got this thing to get squirrely on me. I mean, I, there was, I left some meat on the bone, even. Like, I, I, I still haven't tested it to its full test. It's still got more to give. And, uh, and you can tell, uh, one of the things I've noticed, like for example, versus the Blizzard, which is this, is they're built with a similar kind of ethos. Two sheets of titanol, which is the, the metal that they, the very skinny light metal that they put on top of skis to make it damp. That's really what makes a ski damp. Metal with wood together is what makes a ski damp. But sometimes you get a ski like that and it can feel flat, uh, meaning it doesn't really have that like lively rebound feel. It might go straight and hold an edge really well and carve really well through ice and hard conditions. But what I noticed about this is I could hammer on it and it gave me a little like feedback. It, it gave me a little love. Like I felt like it was it was it was talking to me a little bit and it, I could I could sort of spring out of the turn and go to the next one as opposed to just feeling like I'm riding it. So uh, really enjoyed that. They do that. You, you, the flex feels nice and even too. One of the one of the things I think they did here on this ski is they kept camber in it. So I don't know if you're familiar with camber, but camber is that bend in the ski. If you look down it, uh, they have a nice amount of camber in that. And I think if you're kind of a classic, you know, grew up skiing classic skis, you're used to camber. And when you don't have it, it just feels kind of dead. So uh, they did a nice job of keeping that in here. Um, even though they incorporated some of the modern shape, just a little bit of rocker on there. This one is uh, uh, Set, this one's 80, 84 under foot. They do uh, a 70, no, no, this one's 84 under foot, sorry. And I skied it in a 175. And that's kind of short for me, but this thing was stable. I was able to bomb down the hill, no problem, actually. And did never felt like I was getting squirrely on the tail. I felt like it actually had a lot of tail. So something about the geometry, I think they got right here. Um, yeah, thumbs up. Got the Hess wood core. Uh, obviously, like what I said before, the combo of a good wood core and the metal is really what gives that ski that quality edge hold. And uh, they kind of nailed it with this thing. Um, I didn't necessarily, and it's not that heavy. Sometimes I complain about these, these race oriented skis that I don't feel like I can go in the park with them or, or do a 360 or anything like this. But this thing's, it's on the lighter side of one of those. So uh, pretty impressed with the bomber uh, ski. Good job, uh, good job, buddy. And I like the name. The more you think about it, it's kind of cool. They're bomber, they're built, handmade. You know, each, each one is, is, uh, is handcrafted, so the quality is very high. They are expensive, but when you make stuff by hand, it's expensive, so. But the quality shows. Check them out, give them a try, and buy a pair. Nice work, Bodie. All right, <laughs> for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports, until the next run, I'm Johnny Mosley.